channel. So today I'm coming to you with this really easy to do, fun summer updo that doesn't put stress and tension on your edges at all. Now I know this style might not be for everybody and that's 100% okay. I like to create styles that work for me, that are practical for me, that make life easier for me as a mom of two, a wife, a business owner. I wanna be able to move quickly and this is the type of style that you can do so easily right out of the shower in the morning. Doesn't require any twisting at night, doesn't require much maintenance. You can take it down and you can redo it again in the morning so it always looks fresh and it doesn't take you any more than five to 10 minutes depending on your skill level. So I've mentioned in a recent video and I probably have shared enough social media posts with me rocking the top knot or the mini twist in a top knot for you to make the assumption that that is one of my favorite styles. So now that the summer is here and or almost here and the weather is beautiful and for many of you, you might want to consider wearing the top knot or the bun for this season as a way to get your hair off your neck and just from sitting on top of your hair, making it really hot and uncomfortable and causing you to be really sweaty. So one of the things that I've experienced now that I've been wearing the top knot a lot more is sometimes my bun can be really, really tight and I can feel it on my edges. I feel like when I go from dry hair to putting my hair up in a top knot, my edges are much less stressed than when I go from wet hair to putting it up into a top knot. So this morning I did a co-wash using the Ren Pure Coconut Co-wash Cleansing Conditioner and I got this from TJ Maxx and I've used it a, um, a few times and I like it, it's okay. It's, it's nice, it's decent. And so I'm gonna put my hair up into a top knot with a either cornrow or maybe I'll do a flat twist across the front a pretty decent sized one and then my goal is to have it come from ear all the way over to the other ear so that way the hair that I pull up into my top knot won't stress my edges so I'm going to be using some products that I have from Cream of Nature. This is their Argan Oil Buttermilk Leave-In Hair Milk. And because my hair is wet, I'm going to put in a good amount of the leave-in conditioner. I feel like when I am doing my top knot on wet hair, when it finally does dry, my hair is usually like really hard and crunchy. So. What I've been doing is really making sure that I put a great amount of product on. Um, I have this Hydra Thermas Naturals Oil. I've had this oil for like maybe two years. And I am going to layer that on. If you do the lock method, then this is the O. The Argon Oil was the leave-in, the L. And this is the O. I'm going to put some of this in the center as well. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you really like my talk through videos. I try to balance out the quick t tutorials where, you know, I just do like a quick voiceover and I really don't say too much and they're just a couple minutes. I try to balance that out with these talk throughs because I feel like when I'm doing the talk throughs, I'm able to think in the moment and when I'm doing the voiceovers, I'm racing. <laughs> you know the speed of the video so if I only have 20 second clip of me putting in some products I end up you know only giving you the basics I can't really say too much whereas when I do a talk through any little like nuggets of experience that I have I can share it I don't want my parting to be too far back because I do want my top knot to sit pretty high on my head so as you style it as you part just think about where your knot is going to stand i don't want my knot back here i want it up here like if i wasn't wearing my the front of my hair up into a ponytail so just keep checking to see so I want to explain the white residue and those white little specks and chunks you see in my hair. I did an oatmeal hair mask 
the night before and that's some of the residue in my hair it's not the products it is definitely my oatmeal mask this is what I experience every time I do one okay I feel like I've gotten the parting to a um, comfortable size and evenness I'm not the best at parting it's not something I practice often because I do usually just use my fingers um, so you know you're gonna have to practice with the parting and you can be like me and just do your best <laughs> or you can be anal and just go crazy over it and then be miserable so I'm using the argon oil twirling custard styling curl styling gel and I really do like this product for when I'm doing styles that require my hair to be really malleable you know um, usually I'm working on dry hair that has been twisted and so it stretches and it twists out every now and then I'll do like a braided style or something that I want to wear to like church and my hair will be wet and if I use my something that's a little bit drier and not so creamy you know and like gelatinous then I find that it's just really difficult to do the style I'm gonna just use my detangling brush to detangle through because it's very difficult to do braided styles or twisted styles on tangled hair so I usually style my hair from my left over to my right and I think I'll do a flat twist my goal is to not have the flat twist be so firm to my scalp give it a little bit of like height and fullness. So every few um, inches, I'm going to pull at it like this because for me, I find that I always twist and braid tightly. Like twisting and braiding loosely is very difficult for me. I don't know why I never could do it. So it's just easier for me to um, just braid my normal way or twist my normal way So, like I said, every couple of inches, just pull it out. If you're not a loose, a tight, yeah, a loose, a loose braider or a twister like me, I just can't do it. No matter how much I try to twist or braid loose, it just never happens. And you can see, like every time I do it, I can loosen it just a little bit more. Okay. Now, when you get to the end. This is your final opportunity to loosen the twist and then we just break, twist it loosely at the end and depending on the thickness of your hair that will also determine you know how full this is okay so what's gonna happen is we're going to fix this bun and then this piece is going to come up here and we have the looseness this laxity on our edges so when we pull this hair up it's not going to be as painful and as damaging. Use your brush to help smooth the hair up. And then I'm using a boar bristle brush for smoothness. So now I have my top knot in place I'm going to wrap it once and then on the second wrap this is going to go this hair this uh, twist is going to be a part of it on the second wrap and the third wrap is when we make the top knot like so okay so if you're wondering which elastics I'm using, I'm using the Scoonchi or Scunchy. And this pack of Ouchless bands is for thick hair. I believe I got it from either Walmart or Target. So if you feel any tightness, like right now I'm feeling a little bit of pulling here, you probably can see it. Then you can just release the tension on 
the twist like this. So for those of you who don't like your styles to look frizzy on the edges, then you can definitely use the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Perfect Edges. This product is a favorite of mine. But for the most part, I don't necessarily care too much about frizzy edges, but I know some of you do. So you can just sleek up those edges, girl. And Cream of Nature has this little, you know, brush, edges brush, super small and cute. And you can see how good the product is. And um, I don't really need it on this side, but for those of you who love edges, you're probably like, ooh, girl, yes you do. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really uh, into like laying my edges down, so it's not something that I do, really. Um, doing the edges definitely does clean up the look. I will admit that, and I guess you could even do it you know, and the edges in the back, but I feel like it makes it look more effort, more of an effort, and I want it to really look effortless. 